morning on our day 3 of Catalonian Camino de Santiago. We are feeling refreshed and energized and are ready to start this new day. Today we are planning to get to Cerro de Urgel and it's going to be 20 kilometers once again. And we expect the trail to be quite challenging and hard just because we see the mountains around us. But the day is beautiful and sunny and we can't wait to see what it brings to us. Let's go! show you how we store our little things. We find these plastic and silicon containers very convenient. For example, here we store our hand soap, shampoo, my face cream, hand cream. Here we have the shower gel. And then we have like our food store. These are the mix of our favorite spices of turmeric and oregano here here is the olive oil and salt and we find that it makes a huge difference to bring with us the spices and olive oil it just makes the food to taste so much better so good and these silicon containers we like better than the plastic ones so just a recommendation and if you want to know more of what we take with us and how we store things just leave us a comment below It's been a pretty good marking so far, that's just great. food supply right now running out of food just because we don't have any shop around us we have only left two bananas and some cookies and some chocolate so we start to be a bit concerned if we got enough for today but we're sure we'll find something and by the way do you like my new cap style it's very trendy I think <laughs> it's because the sun's shining so hard on my back that's why I'm wearing like that
that the ears have developed before the body of this baby. So cute. You can see this 1.5 kilometers we have to go through the road, but there is no alternative way, so there's nothing we can do. Thanks God the road is over now and there is no sidewalk or anything and no marking whatsoever, so you won't see any marks, so you have to go by your intuition you have to have your GPS and we're using the other map on Wikilog that the other person downloaded so that's why it's helping us kind of to find our way otherwise we won't find it that's the reality We want to tackle this mountain before the heat comes, otherwise we'll be dying of it. This mountain has the same altitude as our village Hivia. It will be hard and interesting. Finally we found the direction we should go to. We get so much lost here in this little, little village. But there is no marking, we just were wandering around the streets and such. Oh, so happy we found it. There is our way. It's been such a nice path that goes through the forest, lots of shadow, especially in this extremely hot day like it is now, with no wind, so hot.
Breathing fresh air helps a lot while conquering the mountain. It's expanding your lungs, especially when there is so much of it. That's great. Just did pick up today. Now the easier way starting, coming down. Sometimes you think that the way down is easier than the way up, but nope. Uh, especially with such small rocks that they're coming down, especially on your knees, so hard. So I had to give away my backpack to my dear husband. If not, I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't know why, because it's so much weight on my knees. Way down is over. We survived. Yeah. For the first time trying dehydrated apple. Let's see what it tastes like. Tastes good, almost like a real apple. Good snack. It contains. Can you believe it? Two apples and it weighs nothing. So just perfect for hikes as we do. We'll always go for the snacks from this time. Half of the way is finished, going strong. So grateful that the clouds came out, very important for us. Right now, yeah.
Blackberry is so good. We're looking for some bench or picnic table, but there is nothing inside. So, what we do? We are resting on the side of the road. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have snack now. Mm. Hungry, tired, mm. exhausted. We just arrived at Seu d'Urgel, our destination, and just a bit left to our camping. And we just went out of the supermarket, very happy, but lots of food. <laughs> and now we're gonna eat. No, I'm just kidding. What about the day? What do you think? The day it was extremely hot. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was killing. The route was very hard, go in the mountain. In the hills, ups and downs, lots of, uh, lots of hard roads. Yeah. yeah, that's true. The first part was very interesting in the forest area. Yeah, exactly. It was beautiful. Yeah. But then it's kind of got a bit boring, you know, going through the same villages, houses, and well, very plain. And now we're heading to our camping, and we'll show you around tomorrow. And all we want for the day is to eat some food and have a good rest, as tomorrow awaits us maybe the same difficult day. Who knows? See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed our video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date with all our recent hikes and adventures. Make sure to check out the detailed map of the hike in the description below the video. Also follow us on social media like Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. Hope you are having a wonderful day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!